In this movie, we're going to take a look at how to work with web fonts in HTML5 Canvas for Animate. So we're going to start off by creating an HTML5 Canvas document. I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to click and drag a rectangle. And I'm going to type in ABC and I'm going to slide it down just a tad, get it more on the page. And now what I want to do is I want to select a, an option for a type kit. This is where it is, where this little globe is, but since it's not highlighted, that means I need to make some type of a change. And the change is this over here. Static text will not allow me to access the web fonts. I need to be in dynamic. This other option in here is also not available in the canvas format. That's why it's grayed out. So anyway, dynamic text is what we want. Now I can click on the globe. I can go to type kit and get started after I see the welcome menu. Make some font choices over here. And so I'm just randomly making these choices. And so they're all going to end up here on the selected fonts. And these are the choices I just made. So I can review my choices in here. If there's something that I really don't want, I can just click on it and get rid of it that way. I'll hit OK. That's going to add those font choices to my uh, list of my type kit options that are available in other Adobe products like Adobe Illustrator. If I click on this menu, it's a fly up menu. And if I slide all the way to the top, here are the choices that I just brought in. If I do a command return, then we can see this in the browser. And it's accessing the font through a URL on a different web page than the one that I'm working on. The downside of working with web fonts is that you cannot break the fonts apart. Nope, let me click over here. So if I go to the modify drop down menu, you'll notice that the break apart is not an option. Uh, so you can't make outlines of this. You can, however, use Adobe Illustrator to generate your font. And in Adobe Illustrator, you can still do a create outline out of the text. So if you have to have the Bezier curves, the vector graphics in Animate, you can always gen generate them in Adobe Illustrator and bring them in. If you only need the individual text boxes as separate text boxes, you can kind of break that up. And here's the trick. If I hold the Option key down and make a copy of this, and I'm going to change this to a different font, so I'll select Arial, let's go Arial Black since it's kind of bold. Now I can get to the Modify drop-down menu and break them apart because I'm using a font that's on my computer. Break that apart. And once it's broken apart, while they're still selected, I can go back to the dynamic setting and then select the font that I was working with this way. And you're probably going to have to fine tune the kerning by hand with the cursor keys. You can do that uh, and space that out to your liking. But there's no making these into outlines. But what you can do is you can make these text boxes into bitmaps. So you have a couple of choices. You can select either everything go to the Modify drop-down menu and convert to Bitmap. That takes all three letters and makes them into one big giant Bitmap. I'll do an undo on that. Or you can select the individual letters one at a time and make them into Bitmaps. And the advantage of that is that if you're doing anything unusual with your modifications, you can still modify the individual letters. So for example, in here if I do a free transform option, I can skew this I'm going to roll over here just at the right angle. There it is. I can skew that. And uh, that'll show up in my banner. So if you're doing an animation where you needed to skew the letter, you can still modify things that way. All right, so those are, delete those. Those are the options for the type kit. Now I have to warn you, on occasion, the drop-down menu will no longer work. And the workaround for that, while you're in the process of putting your project together, is you can go into the text drop-down menu. We'll select our type, 
our text box. Go to the text drop down menu, go to fonts, and in here you can access your font choices and you can make the modifications there. So sometimes it locks up and the, the workaround for that is this menu, but after you save it and reopen it, everything will work the way it did, uh, or at least the way it's working for me right now. So I won't hold my breath, I still may get it to lock up, this little menu to lock up, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I want to work with Google Fonts. So I'm going to select the Google Font option. And this is, uh, I suspect it doesn't work the way it should because there have been changes at the Google Font website since the Adobe doesn't control that. But what's supposed to happen is you get a list of all the popular fonts in here. So we don't have access to that list. There's a uh, trending, that list doesn't work either. There's number of styles, that one does. This includes a list of all the fonts with their style format. So here you can see this is condensed, semi-condensed. It'll have like oblique and all the different styles that you can work with on that particular font. Uh, date added, that doesn't work. Alphabet does, so if you need to get to the fonts, so if you need to get to the fonts, you can do it this way. The one thing you have to be careful about the Google fonts is that all of them aren't available. There's some of these are not going to work and you just have to test them. So uh, it kind of works the same way as the type kit. You select the font that you're working with and you make your choices. Let me see if I can find a font in here that I remember not working quite right. Um, let's see. I may not get one. I don't remember what it was called. I just remember what it looks like. Well, I'll just go ahead and make some choices and see what happens. Okay, so those are the choices that I made from this menu. And here in the selected fonts, there are my choices right in here. I'll go ahead and click on Done. It's going to generate my list. And let's see if this pops open. Ah, it locked up. So, no problem. Come back over here, go to the text, fonts, and here are my choices in here. So I can make my Google font choices in here. So let's see if that font works. So do a command return, and it did not. So you gotta test them. That's not the same font you can see in the C. Uh, others will work. And again, this is locked up in here now. There's no fixing it uh, once it gets locked up. Your only option is to save your document. And I've already saved this once before, so I'll save it again and replace it under the old one. And I'll quit out of Animate. And I'll relaunch it. And I'll open ABC. Hit OK. Click over here. And now the flyout menu works. So there's one font. I'll test that, see if that, see if that works in uh, my browser window. Nope, that one didn't work either. So I may have run into a bunch of them that are kind of dead ends. I think that one does work. Yeah, that one works fine. Uh, let me get back to one that doesn't work. And there is an alternative and that is to make a bitmap image out of it. So I'll go to the Modify drop-down menu and Convert to Bitmap, and that'll give me the font that I want. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to look great because it is uh, pixelated a little bit. Uh, there's not much I can do about that, uh, but uh, it's not a bad option, especially since we're working in web banners. All right, so uh, hopefully that'll help you out in uh, having a couple of more options uh, in the type category in your web banners.